While launching smart teller machines for Postbank Uganda, a state-owned financial institution, the Minister of State for Finance in charge of general duties, Henry Musasizi, emphasized that government will implement policy regimes aimed at facilitating Uganda's dream to achieve cashless economy. One of such laws is the Payment System Act of 2020 that aims at promoting the safety and efficiency of payment systems in Uganda. Cashless payments registered significant growth and this was mainly because of the increase in volumes of internet and mobile, man, mobile banking platforms. When these platforms are attractively complemented by the new smart ATMs mechanism, I'm confident that the journey towards achieving a cash-free economy is firmly on the track. According to the Post Bank, emphasis will now be put on transforming the lives of the rural population by supporting agriculture. Are what you call smart ATMs. Um, they will enable instant deposits. If you deposit on your account, your account, you get the credit instantly. It's not later, it's not an envelope. Uh, you get a receipt, it shows you the different notes that you deposited and this money goes to your account immediately. The smart ATMs can make daily instant cash deposits of up to 30 million shillings and cardless cash withdrawals where clients can access money by using codes. ATMs that we procure are what you call smart ATMs. Um, they will enable instant deposits. If you deposit on your account, your account, you get the credit instantly. It's not later, it's not an envelope. Uh, you get a receipt, it shows you the different notes that you've deposited, and this money goes to your account immediately. As digitization takes shape in the country, the population has been advised to be conscious enough in order not to fall victims of financial crime offenders who take advantage of cyberspace. We monitor all the databases, the networks, we hire the people who are good at cybercrime, protection in terms of monitoring and making sure that the customer deposits are protected. Joseph Muingo compiled the story.